Okay, here we are, folks, with match number 14. It's Tunisia up against England. So Tunisia will start like this. I apologize for pronunciation uh, of these bad boys. Mathalotti, Ingo, Youssef, uh, Chemenem, Maloui, Wahidi, uh, Sassi, Amour, Kazari, Kalali, Masanki, and Youssef up front. As for England, they look like this. Heart and Gold, Walker, Bertrand, Smalling, Stones, Sterling, Ali, Dia, Lalana, Kane and Vardy up front. And England will get this match underway. This is match number 14 and it will take place in the real world on the 18th of June at the Volongrad Arena. And that is in Volongrad. As Tunisia looking sharp today. They've got their shooting boots and they've made... Joe Hart work already as he boots it out. So this game will be the second match in Group G, which in also includes Belgium, Panama, England in their traditional white jerseys, Tunisia in a green jersey. I'm not sure if that's traditional, but because I had to add these to this to this uh, emulated version of FIFA 95, as we've hit a bit of a brick wall here. Eventually. England switch on and do something different. Have they got the knack this time round? It's always the same case with England. They just never, ne they blitz through qualifying, but they just stumble in the final, final, um, in the actual tournaments. And they've they've not had a really good tournament since Euro '96, and that's well overdue. So that's 20 years. Can't believe it. It's 20 years since a really good tournament. And it's right now they are just. They have button heads with Tunisia in midfield. Maybe, maybe 98. Maybe 98 was okay. I think they had Argentina and they got knocked out on penalties. Uh, so they've, they've really not had a good, good run. And I'd like to, I'd like to see it on a personal level. Like, you know, I, you know, obviously the voice, you sound, I sound like English, but uh, my, uh, my hat. Uh, lies elsewhere when it comes to international football. I'm not going to disclose that right here, right now. Um, but it is not England. But I'd like to see him do well as uh, as England pepper start to pepper Tunisia as they uh, try to look for an opening goal here in the Volongrad Arena. Tunisia and England, they have met before. In fact, this will be the third time that these two sides meet. And last time out, they actually met in the 1998 World Cup. England 2-0 victors. In fact, England have yet to taste defeat against Tunisia. The other side, other time that they met was way back in 1990. It was a friendly. Ended up being 1-1. So, will uh, England continue their unbeaten streak against Tunisia? Or will Tunisia upset the odds as a cheeky little header kind of teases the Tunisian defence? But England now break and it's an opener with a cracking goal. Bit of sloppy defending there by Tunisia and England have got the noses in front, which is what I was expecting. I hoped, oh, well, not hoped, but I, I thought they would dispose of Tunisia. They need to keep up the pace. And Harry Kane has opened up his England and World Cup account with the opening goal against Tunisia. Uh, as expected, I do, ex well, England are expected to, uh, to qualify. As we're in 2.50, uh, we do play two four-minute halves. Yeah, I expect England and Belgium to qualify from this group. If they don't, uh, heads will roll. Uh, obviously, uh, last in the last major tournament, both England and Belgium got rid of their managers. England with uh, horrific consequences, obviously. Roy Hodgson was the gaffer back then, and they uh, suffered that humiliation. And they, you know, because... Uh, against Iceland, uh, just in case you you weren't aware of what I'm talking about, but when they when they landed that draw, I think the whole of European football thought England had got this bad boy. Well, all except for Iceland, as Tunisia make Joe Hart sweat a little bit and they get go for their own first FIFA 95 retro style corner as it's floated in there. Can someone get a turn and shoot? No, good clearing, good defending by England. As they try to uh, refrain Tunisia from taking a cheeky 
couple shots. But yeah, the whole of the football world thought England had it in the bag against Iceland, but except for Iceland, of course, and they did the number on them. Uh, and that's the end of the first half. So the second half will get underway with Tunisia kicking us off. It's not over yet. Uh, just the one goal in it. Harry Kane's wonder strike. A second goal for England though would, would make it a lot more comfortable. As I was mentioning before the break, both Belgium and England lost their managers at the last major tournament. I can't remember. I think it was... Who was, who was the Belgian manager? I can't remember. But anyways... He was relieved of his duties after losing to Wales in the quarterfinals. Again, uh, 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 both Wales and Iceland having tremendous Euros uh, and uh, you know, resulting in the Belgian manager losing his job. Oh, cheeky effort there. Is that the second corner? And that is a massively heavy tackle in England. No, what? They get away with that? Can't believe Tunisia got away with that. But Joe Hart, calm as you like, collects the ball, Joe Hart who spent the whole season on loan at West Ham. And they actually fell out of favour both at Manchester City and also West Ham ended up being reserve keeper. So I'm not too sure if he's actually going to be the number one. Maybe Pickford will get the nod. Uh, not the biggest fan of Joe Hart myself. Uh, Pickford, youngster. He's got the whole world of football ahead of him. Uh, recently signed from Sunderland for a whopping like 30 odd million pounds as England now break. They've got a bit of space to work something. Can they do so headed forward? towards maybe Vardy I don't know it could be anybody but uh, yeah Pickford looking like the future of English football between the sticks anyway Joe Joe but is it Joe Butland Butland from Stoke is also a, a safe pair of hands um, and I think Butland's gonna be on his move on, on the move in the summer I think he will go to possibly Arsenal I think Arsenal in fact uh, in fact it could be it could be anywhere really uh, except for, I don't think I see him going to Spurs, I don't see him going to Chelsea, but Manchester United, depending on uh, De Gea's future, um, he could go to, uh, look at that, there was, that is goal of the tournament material right there, what a strike, who is that, who is that masked man, who is that for England, it's 2-0, that is goal of the tournament, you know, I've only seen maybe one other goal that was pretty epic thus far, Jamie Vardy gets England's second, and all three points. That's that's three points in the bag. But yeah, Butland will be uh, here. We on the move. You know, Arsenal looking for a keeper. Checks getting on a bit. Uh, who else? Liverpool. They've not really got a, a preferred out and out number one goalkeeper. Uh, Manchester United's De Gea's future is uncertain. Madrid always sniffing around. Chelsea. Yeah, Courtois got that in the bag. As England taking no chances, put that one behind for another corner for Tunisia. If they get one here, they're right back in it. It's got time and space, but Joe Hart down and collects it. As for Manchester City, their goalkeeper is certain. Uh, Edison seems to be there, going to be there for a while, unless he has a, has a nightmare, but I don't see it. Who else? Who else could he go to? Butland. Yeah, I don't see him going abroad. Yeah, I think Arsenal. Arsenal are looking for a good keeper. And he uh, fits that bill. But Pickford also, if, uh, you know, I think well, I think he'll stay at Everton for another season at least. And then he could also go as England look for a third. We are now down to the final minute of actual gameplay as England comfortably in control of this match uh, with goals from Kane and that wonder, wonder strike. I thought Kane's strike was pretty decent, but that wonder strike from Vardy has uh, really put a cat amongst the pigeons and Tunisia just look woeful at the moment. England look good, but uh, this is not good opposition. I'd like to, I'm looking forward to the Belgian game. Obviously, England's next opponent is Panama in a game that they also should win. As for Tunisia, they take on Belgium. They'll wrap it up, though, with that mouth-watering game against Belgium, which could decide who finishes top, who finishes second. But there's still a lot of football to play as Tunisia have to clean up right in their box England, though, looking for a third. Third will be a little bit, uh, you know, what's the word? Added dressing. Cherry on top. But that's it. 2-0. Tunisia nil. England 2. 
just to recap of the statistics, uh, Tunisia did have five shots on goal, and so you know credit goes to Hart for keeping them at bay. Four shots for England, two of them in the back of the net. Recap of the scorers, Harry Kane got the goals, well, the first one of the day, two minutes and 40 seconds, and then once again, that wonder strike from Vardy. And then as for fouls, no players in the book whatsoever. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching, please like, share and of course subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.